whole sorority at Alabama. It's amazing. It has its perks and its cons, but I would focus more on the perks because there's a lot of opportunities for Greek life on campus, not so much for up but like for every Greek organization on here. And Greek life at the University of Alabama is so big that you really couldn't miss it. What's your name? Kayla Faye Brown. Where are you from, Kayla? Fayetteville, North Carolina. Did Greek life reel you in more to this specific university? Was it an influence on your decision to come here? Or So, wherever I was like going to end up at, I wanted to join Greek. Like, Greek was one of like the reasons why I wanted to go to college just for like the sisterhood bond and it's like a great way to like once you get out of college it's a great way to like find a job. So the first process you did was formal recruitment. Explain yes. formal recruitment. So formal recruitment is basically a week and a half process and you start out with ice water teas. You go to every house and there's 17 houses on campus and then after those two days then you get dropped from that then you go on to philanthropy you learn about philanthropy then you go on to sisterhood learn about their sisterhood the next day is prep and that's when it really cuts down to like the two houses and the next day is bid day yeah so you weren't happy about your formal recruitment process yes wasn't happy about my formal recruitment process so you decided to do informal yes. explain to me what informal recruitment Informal recruitment is CO being, which is continu continuously open bidding for those houses that don't have chapter quota or have extra spots in their house to accept more girls. So that's the informal process of recruitment. How did you feel going through informal recruitment and mixing into the chapter as a freshman, but second semester? So I got my COB um, spring semester of my freshman year. Um, it was pretty easy. I really didn't know that many of many girls in going into the chapter. Like everybody already had like their friend groups and everything, and I was kind of down about that because I was just like, well, all these people already have friends. I'm not gonna make friends. Yada yada yada. And I was just like, well, I'm just gonna like wait it out. Wait until like recruitment of next year comes and be like paired up with girls and like that I not know. And then ever since of uh, recruitment of my sophomore year I've made friends absolutely love them love the chapter now and proud to be a part of it <laughs> what is your position as inside this chapter what do you do for COB so my position in Alpha Phi is the director of COB which is the director of continuously open bidding and what my job entitles of is um, contacting girls that have the GPA requirement good grades um, is active on campus and could possibly be active um, in the chapter, I reach out to them myself or my assistant director of COB or my two advisors. So we reach out to them, ask them if they still want to be a part of Greek life. Nine times out of ten, they do say yes. We bring them into the house for like dinner or lunch or for like a sisterhood event so they can meet like more actives or for COB parties that we have to meet more COBs because People think being a COB is weird, but in reality, it's not weird. Like, you're still part of, like, the sisterhood and everything, and no one looks at you weird. So that's what my job entitles of. Do you think there are girls who specifically skip formal recruitment to COB to do informal recruitment? Or do you think all the experiences are not working out like your experience? Um, I would have to say a lot of sophomores that went through, like, the whole recruitment process their freshman year would try to do the COB side of it because they already know like what formal recruitment is about and they still want to be in Greek life so they try more to go in the informal route but like freshmen they still have that formal recruitment process but their friends know that like some chapters don't have chapter quota and lean them towards the informal recruitment process of COB. Do you, would you purposely tell anybody to skip formal recruitment? No, I wouldn't tell anybody to skip formal recruitment just because formal recruitment is different for everybody. It was different for me. It was different for, like, all my friends that actually, like, got a house on bin day. Um, it just depends, like, their grades and themselves as a person and technically what happens, happens.